Once again, welcome to the English service. My brothers and sisters, I hope that you are well and protected by the Lord our God. We miss you seeing you face to face. Today I have the privilege to bring the Word of God to you again. The topic of my sermon today is discovering faith. Faith. What does faith benefit you and I? You know, there are three great elements we need in our lives. According to the first Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, NIV said, And now the three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. In order for us to experience the real love, we need to start with faith. So, faith, what does it mean? You want to know about it? Faith, the meaning number one, relating to God in general. Faith is the conviction that God exists and it is the creator and ruler of all things. The provider and giver of eternal salvation through Christ. Faith, in another meaning, relating to Christ, means faith is a strong and welcome conviction or belief that Jesus Christ is the Messiah through whom we obtain eternal salvation in the kingdom of God. This is the meaning of faith. Faith or belief in God in the Old Testament appears 140 times. Faith in the New Testament appears 247 times in 231 verses. The faith is important for you and I. Whether you believe a follower of Christ or not, it's important to us. We practice faith every day. Faith I am talking about today it's a faith in God. In Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6, and with that faith, it's no faith, it's, imp it's impossible. It's impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that, we, that He exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Do you want to please God? I believe you do. Then faith is the key to please God. You cannot seek to create your own faith without seeking God first. You seek God for faith. Point number one of my lesson today, God is the only source of faith. In the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 1, Simon Peter is seven an apostle of Jesus Christ to those who through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. Treat faith, my brother and sister, as precious. This faith is important for us, for you and I, to live a better life. We need faith and great faith. In the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 20, 
but you, dear friend, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith. The book of Jude said, building yourself up in your most holy faith. You and I, we can build ourselves up, build our lives up to be a better life, to be a better Christ follower by having a holy faith. Treat faith as holy and praying in the Holy Spirit. We should treat faith as the most holy. We go to God for faith. In the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, I'm reading from ESV. So faith come from hearing. Faith come from hearing and hearing through the word of God. If you want faith, you need to listen to the Word of God. Go to the Word of God. Faith flow when God speaks, right? When God speaks, God speaks through the Bible. The Bible is the Word of God, for He Himself is a source of faith. His Word, God's Word, is creates channels of faith in you and I. So faith comes from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And must, this faith must return to God, come from God, God speaks, Sometimes God speaks directly as his voice. You know, God speaks to us. God speaks to you. God speaks to me all the time. But sometimes we can't hear him. But if we are to paying attention enough, we can hear God's voice. When we hear God's voice, we allow that word of God to quicken to our spirit into our hearts and start obeying those words of God. It's come from God speaking to you and I. And we obey. And when we obey, we give glory to God. We follow God with this faith. So faith is important for us. Always, my brothers and, brothers and sisters, always make your way to go to God, to go to the scriptures for faith. Because faith comes from God. It's important. We need faith in this life. You and I need faith and need stronger and stronger faith each day. Amen. And point number two, seek to know God and grow our faith. We need to grow this faith. This faith, you cannot you know, allow that faith to stay there. Otherwise, that faith can die down. And then our walk with God is not strong, not strong enough. So we need to continue to build this faith and get it stronger and stronger and stronger each day. This is our goal in this life, to build a stronger faith. Faith will benefit you and I greatly. When God is known in your heart, and then you will see his power shown in you. You will experience his power as well. In the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 31 to 33. In this scripture, Jesus talked to the disciple 
because they worried about this, they worried about that, they concerned about this, they concerned about that. Every one of us, right? We were, you know, concerned about everything around us in our lives, right? And so, in verse 31, Jesus said, Therefore, do not worry. Jesus said, don't be worried. Saying, what shall we eat? Be concerned about what shall we eat? What kind of food will we really get the food from? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? People are concerning about this all the time. Worrying, 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 day after day, days after days. Jesus said, stop worrying about this stuff. For after all these things, the Gentile seeks. After these things, the Gentiles seek. Why the Gentiles seek? The Gentiles are the people that they don't have the faith in God. They have no God. They don't trust anything. That's why they're concerned. They worried about everything. But Jesus said, look, they don't worry like non-believers, like Gentiles. Don't do that. For your heavenly Father knows. You see, for your heavenly fathers, for our heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. What are these things? Of course, what to eat. God will supply food to eat. God will supply you with drink. God will supply you with stuff to wear. You're not going to be naked for sure. God will protect you from all the bad viruses, diseases, and sicknesses. This is God's job, my brothers and sisters. It's not our job to worry. It's God's job. Just trust Him. He knows. He knows about these needs. He knows that you need all of these things. He cares for you. He cares for me. Therefore, put our trust in Him. The Lord our God. Verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God he said you know what that kind of stuff of course you need it but what you really need the most is to seek first the kingdom of God seek first God's kingdom seek him first and and his righteousness and all of these things will be given to you. Also in the book of uh, Luke chapter nine, uh, 11 verse 9. So I say to you, Jesus said, ask and it will be given to you. You don't have to worry about anything, but you just ask God. Ask God for it. Ask, it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. You don't have to worry about anything. Seek God first. And after you find God, and then, you know, you just ask. Just, just ask. This is His word. You know, when... When you live, you are living in your father and mother's house. Sometimes you just go get it, like food in the fridge, you know, and stuff like that. You just go, go get it, and 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 get it from the fridge, and you eat. Or sometimes you polite and ask them, "Hey, mom and dad, could I take this?" But God is really a good, good God. You ask anything in His name, and He will give it to you and then you knock for knock the door will be open open for you 
look for opportunities in life and all that. You just go to God. When you have faith, faith will help you and I to live a better life than before. This is important for us. In another scripture, in the book of um, Acts, chapter 3, verse 16, by faith, by faith in the name of Jesus. You see, by faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus that... Uh, it is Jesus' name and the faith that come through him that was completely healed him as you can all see. It's one time a paralyzed person is paralyzed, begging, but the disciple, the apostle, pray for them and the person is here you see when God is known his power shown to you by the person the paralyzed faith and by the apostle faith you see the person that was paralyzed for years and years he has no hope in this life but by that faith that faith restore that guy's body that was crippled, paralyzed, cannot walk, start to walk again. You see, in this life, we need God's help us in many, many, many areas. We cannot live our lives as, oh, I have enough. I don't need God. I don't need anything. We need everything. In order for you and I to get that blessing from the Lord God, we go to God. God can help you and I. Because God has everything that he can give it to you and I. So faith is not fact. You see? Faith is not fact. But faith has to go before fact. You don't see it yet. If faith is seen yet, it's not faith. Faith is something that you don't see. But you keep believing, believing, bit by bit you start to receive. Receive, receive. Then you can see it with your own eyes. You can touch it with your hand. That is faith. Therefore, it's important that faith is not fact. That faith has to go before fact. You and I, my brothers and sisters, we need to have faith. Faith in God. Faith in the Lord God, Jesus Christ. You will see the fact later. Faith and trust in God Trust in what God could do for you. Just trust God. It doesn't mean that you don't have to, don't do anything at all. Oh, I just trust God. I don't need to go cook rice, but let the rice cook by itself. No. God provide everything for you. It takes your part as well to do something. You see? Take your part to do something. And God will provide God is the God, is the source of provider. He provided anything and everything that you need in your life. You need to have faith. Faith is important for our Christian's walk. So my brothers and sisters, I would like to encourage you today to go to God for faith and build your faith upon God. When your faith is growing, you'll see that your life is getting better and better and better. You will live to be an overcomer.
Amen. Let me pray for you, my Heavenly Father, Lord God. Thank you so much, Lord God, for my brothers and sisters. They take one more step going toward you, Lord God, to build their faith and in getting their faith stronger and stronger than before. Lord, this is important for all of us. Lord God, have our heart to be softer, soft and it's easier for us to hear your word. Adopt that word in our heart and allow that word to grow, become a big tree in our lives so that, Lord God, we can live this life as a fruit of faith, Lord God. And Lord God, protect my brothers and sisters, Lord God, and their family, and have that faith, have everyone to understand faith better than before. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you and see you next time.